<sighs> it's nuts how time flies. It's nuts how quick things go. It was just f four years ago now that my sister passed away from cancer. And it was just a few years and now ago whenever I transferred this store. And I remember the day that my old manager asked me to transfer from Round Rock to Austin, I had this weird meth head who harassed me for forever because you meet someone on Grinder, and this is years ago, mind you, and you don't know if they're on meth or not. If it's after 10 p.m., it's honestly like a 50-50 chance. And I wish I never would have just hooked up with random people, but I did. I've made lots of mistakes. I used to date drug dealers. I used to date people pretty heavy into the meth scene. And those <laughs> fuckers, when you try to get out of the math, meth scene, like this guy revealed because he was so skitzed out on meth that those people called the FBI, those people supposedly called the cops, those people lied on me, those people called all of the places I've worked and harassed me for years. And it was weird. It started at Target whenever they started like all of a sudden treating me different. And I thought, huh, that's just a rumor. That can't be. People who know me and know my heart and work with me day to day wouldn't do that. But apparently people listen to rumors and gossip from other people. And I don't know if they really called the cops, but it's weird that the cops never talked to me. But I remember that day, um, the next day we opened, there were cops at the store for opening. And then that day they asked me to transfer. And then after I got transferred to the new store, weird shit happened. We got pepper sprayed in a work meeting and the ambulance and fire people came and <laughs> we had people yelling at us, cussing us through the drive-through. We had tons of guests who would just come and harass the team and it seemed like target me. And I'm wondering if these meth heads really did call my employers and that people really didn't tell me that they called them and if they believed the lies they told on me. And when you get into recovery and get your life right and get away from meth, all those people who are stuck in it, they could come against you, but I can't believe that anyone who knows me would believe a word oh they fucking say. Oh my God. So I hope it's not true and I hope that the last team I was at really didn't just harass the shit out of me because they heard rumors and believed them. Because I remember whenever I told them I was gonna be a content creator, they made fun of me. Whenever I told them I plan and have dreams, they talked down to me. And they always just had this weird judgmental vibe. Not everyone but lots of people. And I'm glad to be back at a store where I never sensed that vibe from, but I don't know. It's sad. Like whenever you get closer to God and you try to fulfill your purpose, why does it seem like people just lie about you? And why does it seem like people not want you to succeed? Like, are they really that low vibrational that they want you to not excel over them when you have gifts and talents that they don't i don't know maybe it's all just a movie script idea maybe it's all just possible but it's something interesting to think about and i can't wait like i've been writing my scripts and i can't wait whenever i find out the truth to reveal the truth and to make a movie about it so I hope it's true that all these little meth heads came against me in their little weird cult thing. And I hope I get to make a movie about it. But what do you think? Would you watch a movie if that was part of the storyline? Let me know.